everything i hope everyone is doing great so today's topic is an email with attachment in pega so if you see if you browse my channel you'll find one video where uh, like where we have learned how we can send notifications uh, using notifications channel and also how we can use send email if you just want to send an email but in that one we didn't cover attachment part so multiple questions were coming on that youtube and in other places that how we can send email so today we'll be learning this one only so i'll show end to end okay so for that uh, let's come to pega uh, it won't take more time it, it, it more than 10 minutes okay so i've created a sample uh, case type so apply leave in that one the first stage is just some attributes uh, and in the second one i have like uh, just use that attachment okay on the screen itself so you can attach it from the utility as well from the side so let's create a, a case and see that and and then we'll see how how i have configured it okay so this is the create a screen so nothing much it's not necessary to fill because we are learning here the attachment basically how we can send email attachment so the next is let's i'll go to create and then here i'll attach some document so let's try let me attach a document so i'll just attach some test document and i can attach two as well so i'll just select come on this one and this one so multiple document at the same time <coughs> so this this is screen is coming so if you want you can attach it from that uh, this right pan as well and here i'm selecting that category so so just file is coming so fine i like i am just attaching file so for now i'll show you how we can add category as well if you want to add this for this for this case type okay so i'll show you so let me click on attach and after that once i'll submit so then it will trigger an email okay so if you see here that i attached two and then one auto got attached which is that the same email which pega sent that email so if i'll open this attachment okay we can see that those two files is there as an attachment so test file and auto insurance file so the same i attached it okay in sometimes i'll be receiving the email also in my mailbox so let's wait for that okay so this is how it's end, end to end working so let's see the configurations that what activity or what i have used it so i've used the completely out of the box okay so in this one if you see here i have configured a send email shape in this flow attachment flow so i'll open the flow and this is the send email automation shape so if you go to automations and you'll find send email so that is what i have dragged it okay and then in configurations then what i have selected so for now i've just selected email address okay you can select like depending on your scenario because obviously you'll not have a hard coded email so you'll be selecting participants or fields or anything and then i have given that qtomate at the gmail.com and then here i just the subject and in the uh, body nothing is there so if you see in the meantime i i received that email with the two attachment you can see that attachment testings and if you see here the same subject i have given in the masses body i haven't given anything so nothing is there and then here so this is this is the important part okay that uh, include attachment so uh, by default it will be excluded okay so we need to check this checkbox and then we need to select all case attachment so whatever we will attach okay everything will go into the email or you want to select any particular attachment category so choose attachment when we do choose att attachment we will get an options based on the field and category okay so here we are learning today based on the category so here we can select what kind of uh, attachment we want to send so by default we are selecting file let's say you want to select multiple category okay you don't want to send all documents but you want to attach multiple category in that case you need to uh, add one more category and then select it from here so let's say here we are not getting any category so if you want to category create a new category how we can do that okay so for that one we can come to case type and simply in our case type we can come to settings and in attachment category we can add that one so here just say add and then let's say we want to add attachment uh, medical category okay that all medical documents so if you're applying for leave and if you're applying your leave reason is medical then you have to add uh, a document of medical category okay so you can say that required for resolutions if you want to mark so that will depend on your business area but i'm skipping for that one for now so i just added one category medical so i just like from here if you do it okay so this is a, like a promotions of low code okay if you do it from here it will automatically gets added to here to your class okay so where we can see that attachment category that will fall under process 
and in process we can see the attachment category so you if i open here so this attachment why we create attachment category okay based on the attachment category we can control that who can delete who can create who can be views so you can see that based on the privilege or when rule okay we can configure that who can handle this uh, type of uh, this attachment category now let's use this attachment category okay so here uh, again we'll come to our configuration so this this time let's see if we are getting that uh, mm, medical we are not getting let's try refresh again and see if we are getting it so you can see that we got so this time i'm saying i'm we are saying that okay i want to send one file and like uh, uh, i mean any any file or any medical which is there in case okay so we'll i'll attach one document as a file and one as a medical category and then let's see if if the email is going okay and now submit it so this is a very basic configurations and if i just open this activity so this is basically pj send activity if you want to send this send email okay from some uh, from some other places like from one of the activity or from their transform you can use this pj send email and pass that required parameter so you can see that send all attachments and attachment category everything is there so you need to just pass those required parameters here pega is giving us the ui uh, from that uh, from that flow step but if you are calling from your flow or, or or from other places from activity or from data transform you need to pass the required parameter one more thing is important is that before like here you can see that i received an email okay so to receive an email your uh, smtp like uh, notify type email account should be configured so i have already configured it okay so if you want to configure it your gmail okay uh, you can check that there is a video how to configure it because now we need to generate a temporary password okay to configure it okay so that also you can do that so if you see test connectivity success that is where i am receiving that email now let's try that okay so this time i'll attach one uh, one document uh, of file and one document of medical category and let's see if we are getting both in the email so i'll select two of the document again but just change the category so this time i'll change the from so see our last time we were getting just file this time i'm getting medical as well so first one i'll select file and then second one i'll select medical and then attach it okay and then we can see two document here now just submit it so this ui this ui don't like it's not necessary that you have to build a similar ui you can attach it from here as well but he, from here the look and feel is little different you can see that right so uh, from here also we can select that But from here we are not getting that options to select uh, that category and other things. So this will always go as a file. I can show you that how you will get that uh, that uh, UI which which I am using. Okay. So now let's wait. So if you see this time also we should see in those two documents auto insurance and then okay let's see why I am just seeing that auto insurance the medical didn't came. let's see if we just if we have saved this flow if not then i think it will not work we'll just get one document so let me submit and save again i'll create a new case and quickly show you I, ideally it should work so this is how we can do that okay so if you want to like because the questions was also coming that how i can send a particular attachment category so that's how you can do it you can configure it okay uh in your send email say okay so and and sometimes what happens if you need these kind of a things dynamically also so then in that case you can call this activity so these things these details whatever the parameter is going so you need to see that how we can pass it multiples one okay so that you need to uh, check this activity and and uh, pass it uh, in parameter okay if you want to do it dynamically that this this attachment category it should accept but if you if you know predefined that these are the attachment category which i want to send an email you can do that you can just select in your uh, flow case type a uh, flow shape and then uh, it will send that so let me select again and then submit it let's see in the meantime we would have received yeah so we have received so this time last time we just received auto insurance because uh, i think um, it was the flow was not saved let's wait if we receive both okay so we received only one file okay let's see if this time we received both 
yeah so this time we received both so the issue was that we didn't save that flow okay after that uh, once we save that flow we we are receiving both the things attachment like uh, of attachment category of file and medical so both we received it so let's just see that yeah i think yeah see we got both the document okay so this is how we can send an email using attachment okay few people were asking questions then can we do it using send uh, notification so i need to explore okay using send notification shape so if you see here there is a send notification shape so i don't think with that one we can send it for now okay page i have not added it but for now you can use this shape okay if you have any requirement to send an email okay using attachment so this is out of the box a shape okay if, and as explained that if if you don't want to send it through the flow you can use it pg send email with and pass a required parameter so i was talking about that how we'll get that uh, that uh, sections okay where i'm getting that uh, options to attach okay so let me show you again so if i'll come here so you can see that when I'm using this one file from device, then I'm getting, if I'm selecting something, then I'm getting an options to select this file category. Okay, so if you want this UI, so because if you compare this UI and the other UI, let me create and show you. Okay, so from that, the right pan, utility pan. Okay, so we are getting a little different one. Okay, so this, this two is different. So if you want uh, uh, this like this, okay, so what you need to do is you need to use uh, py case attachment section so if i show you what i have used okay so if i come here in attach documents configure view so i have so you see case attachment okay so the name is py case attachment okay so that is the sections you need to basically this is a view okay view or it's a sections okay if i um, show you in the flow actions also okay that's that's a sections py case attachment section so if you want to do your poc and if you're not getting options from the right pen you can just attach like i did for my poc see here that the sections name is case attachment so you open that the case name is py case attachment uh, attachment top wrapper so this is the sections which you need to just plug it and then attach and so that it will send an email so that's it at, uh, on today's uh, sessions it was your quick I, I hope this will help you and, and let me know if you have any questions on this one. So thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.